Come on, wake it up, wake it up, boy. You already know it's diesel talk. Nigga, we right back at it. Come on, man. See back home? Let's say it again. See back home? Look, let's got the first interview. You feel me? That all probably hit us out of nowhere. So you know, let's use the Mego Connect. Got in with Lupe. Boop, boop, what's up? Come on, let me get the first interview. Woo, 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 I got woo, 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 woo. Whatever they negotiated. And pay out. Boom. You feel me? He here, so that's a good look, man. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Lush. I fuck with Lush World. I saw all good, man. Y'all niggas keep doing y'all thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But we got C Mac though. So let's see a little bit, man. What's going on? Come on, this is the Crip Mac. This is the nigga that takes his face. Win, loses, or draw. You feel what I'm saying? It's not too many. No, nah, he's the only one. You feel me? That really, that really just takes his face. Does what he does. Does what he says and says what he does. Point blank. Period. You can't. You can't take nothing like that away from him, man. He does that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And these motherfuckers out here, they're not doing that. They popping their jaws, running their jaws, nigga, and ain't and ain't doing nothing. Come on, man. See what other niggas see, man. We are five. Oh. All right, before we before we get to this, y'all, make sure y'all drink our H2O. You know it's, it's it's summertime, man. Summertime is approaching. Y'all make sure y'all drink y'all H2O. You feel me? Stay hydrated. Black ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh anyway. I was with the crazy, mad ass crip. I'm still a crip, not come home. I was. Come. I'm not be fighting. I was. He pulled up to the pop out. I did. He pulled up to the pop out. Out of love and respect, I look back. 46th Street, I would. The pop up is great. Come work with him on wood. Pop up business. We are live on Lush World. And before we get yeah. started, I wanna I wanna tell you about um my new sponsor, our new sponsor over here. Do you know what honey packs are? C Mac? I don't know, cuz. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, a sexual and um performance in mm -hmm. so what they oh, do, them. They make you light as a feather, stiff as a board. You will be <sighs> knocking it down like it never before. So what we do is encourage everybody <laughs> watching <laughs> but you go to Royalty Honey USA. Come on, you got that honey, uh, that honey shit from motherfuckers. That honey. Really make we were just really close friends, you know, and then we just realized we was growing cro close with each other on hood. Yeah, so, uh, on hood, when, it, when we was friends, cut on fucking other stitches on hood, we just realized, cut like, on hood, I used to ask you. Better together. Like, yeah, I want you, you know what I'm saying? C Mac, I can what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, saying? You gotta fuck with me. And I, that's I, what C Mac lives this life. Talk, cut, like, on hood, like, she was fighting me on hood. Are you fighting me? I, I definitely fight you. I'm a little, and, and it takes a special woman to, to hold somebody down when they when they locked up. I'm gonna talk about when the interview gets going. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know Steve Mac got stories to tell y'all. You feel me? No, you ready for it too. I know uh yeah, you about to bust shorty open for show shot. I mean that that's my girl, that's Lily. That's my girl. Uh, there you go. I gotta get into it with uh yeah, when you get into, you know what I'm saying? Talking about everything. With a nigga from uh, on hood, we gon' we gon' keep it professional. We gon' keep it professional from Hoover on hood, and uh, it pretty much was over the phone though. I'm talking with her. It was Thanksgiving time off, man. You remember? <laughs> uh, I mean, Hoover, like, oh, it's my time. I didn't get off. You know, it, it's, it's about a race tag getting there, like, you know, West I Hoover, I need to get out with them. They, now, that thing, that they my homeboy, they fuck with me. They're like, you don't even want to get out with Cuck, and Cuck got pretty much rest in piss. Your homeboy standing on Cuck head. <laughs> Here we go. He like, no, it's over the phone. He fight me, Cuck. He said he got into with a nigga over the phone. You know what I'm saying? That was from Hoover. That was the only reason why they got out over the phone, not because of anything else. You know what I'm saying? So we just playing one of these get downs. And, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Came on my shirt. I squabble, come hood. We going back to there. Boom, bam. On main blood crib. You fight me. Cut, catch me with some cut. He stumbled me. They're like, all right, stop me. You fight me on us. I give it five kill and I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I store from Eddie Trey Hoover. I'm on hood. I give it five kill. See, see, Mac. Look, here's what I like about him, though. He tells his ups and his downs through a situation. And especially when it comes to when you warn with a motherfucker. No matter if you're squabbling or doing whatever. 
Most people that you run into, they always want to get a pretty side of their story. No, they always had the upper hand. Don't trust those motherfuckers. When a person is sitting there telling you a story over and over again or telling you different stories, and they talking about they always had the upper hand and they always was the chief doing the situation, don't believe none of that. That's cap. Straight up. That's not how it goes. In this game, you're going to have ups and downs. I don't give a fuck if it's financial. I don't give a fuck if it's relationships. And I don't give a fuck if it's fights. You feel me? You're going to have those ups and downs. So nobody just ain't just had a clean slate. You feel me? Come on, don't go down like that. And that's how you know when a motherfucker's straight line. You know what I'm saying? They want to boost their shit up. No. And you can't, why? Why can't you tell the story where you, where you, where a nigga bombed on you, where a nigga took off on you? You can't tell none of them stories. Either you lying or you lying no matter what. And you probably ain't even war with motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? Come on and listen to C-Mac though. Busted. Don't not at all. When niggas I squabble with, gotta squabble like Jack Dumb. And I'm not trying uh, to up or nothing. Hold on, he said ain't none of, the, none of the Hoover niggas that he got in the squabble with got, 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 got hands like Jack though. See, come on, man. Let's hear him talk about it. But when you've been boxing since you was 10 years old, cuz, and you 25K, you gonna beat a nigga to death. Now, let's talk about that. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, let's talk that's about that. The most discussed he don't be put on. Huh, him and Jack Fire. Huh, we want to know about that. Let's talk about that. See, what I'm saying? He don't shy away from nothing. They got some real G shit. That's how you do it. Fuck it. That's what people, niggas need to learn from this. Talk about C-Mac don't know nothing to know. Niggas need to learn to have this type of courage. Niggas need to learn to have this type of courage. You feel me? To be able to tell a story, how it really was, go ups and downs. If niggas putting the bins on you, that's what happens during a squabble sometimes. You ain't always going to come out on top. You feel me? Everybody knew it was coming. Y'all exchanged words there. Oh, the they book crib. Just try it outside. Oh, well, I'll let you know as soon as I got that wayside. Oh, well. So you want, okay, you pull up the wayside and um, was it that was that one of those? I pulled up that wayside right now. Nate book crib on tiny bar and that like, hey, I'm walking by. Now, the wayside got the different doors where people go find your, then they got the downstairs street going find your. This is joint. It's Jap in the window. He see me. Yeah, Jap in the window. Look, look, I'm not thinking. Jap looking out. Character. It just looked like a small, like, uh, mixed, like, Asian type of black nigga. I'm looking. I'm just looking. And then I realized when I get in the dorm, uh, Trey Bosch from Hulu kept pointing across. And he like, and Jap telling kill like, look, look, nigga, I'm not over here. Squabble groove. And that was the exact words. And Trey Bosch told me, he's my man, Trey Bosch. It wasn't no fate or nothing. Hold on, we got a hint for that. Smoked the wrong way. Is that it? I'm talking about one of his homies. Oh, so Jack Fox, Jack, Jack Fox was like, get on that nigga. Tell on his homie, huh? Hold on, man. We got to see what's going on. He like, I'm just trying to punch the hole. I'm like, all right, get on the hood. It's Crip Mac and Fly Fly Crip Cat. I'm in every motherfucking situation in the county. And then once he talked with Jack, Jack, well, he kept doing this like this through the window line. And I knew. And then that's when I, I realized when I heard Jack, when he came out, he said, Squabble Grove. Oh, where's well, our Hoover? Squabble Grove. And I already know what that means. When, when, when a Hoover say they're going to groove you, that means they're going to knock you out, they're going to put you to sleep, or they're going to chip you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't uh -huh. know if you know many Hoovers, but if they ever tell you that, God, just call who playing myself. We're going to make sure you're all right. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> he went, whoa. Oh, uh. So then the fight happens. I'm Hustus. I go out, find a yard. You find me on Hustus. They come. He's uh, breaking it down in hella detail. I'm Hustus. I come out on my shirt. I'm waiting for I come, come, come. And I realized that Cut had proper training. Cut, he stretched. He stretched. He stretched. Oh, he like he stretched. He's treating it like a real hood. He wrapped his hands up. And what? Oh, you hear it? Cripple, tiny old. Hold on. He said Jack Five stretched. This how serious it is. Jack Five over here, nigga, used to be a boxer. This nigga, look, this nigga stretching. Right. He's a trained fighter. See, that's what I'm saying. So you gotta take heed to all this type of stuff. Niggas wouldn't even act like they wanna stretch or nothing. They 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 they, they too good. They acting too good and shit. You know what I'm saying? You look at a nigga over there ready to fight, you like, damn, that nigga stretching and everything. Hold on. Nigga, that nigga is right, he's loosening it up. 
he knows the art of fighting. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Fire. Bar head ass like P. That nigga short too. I want my hard come lusters. I know how it is with the blacks and we enemies on lusters. I reach out, shake your hand, cut. I shake my hand on lusters. Shake your cut hand. I cut on neighborhood crib. I go in. I'm swinging. I'm swinging on lusters. I ain't killed with two on lusters, but it's fine like it in bad cow hood. You gotta think about a color bigger, and I ain't have much wind, so keep swinging on lusters. Cut, tire me out. Old neighborhood crips. I don't know. cut came with just a couple of vicious punches. The, the chin cut on neighborhood crypt the temple, and then cut hit me somewhere right here. Cut, I couldn't breathe. I fell. Damn. Oh, hush, I thought, oh, hush, and cut. Blood. He said that right. Hit him in the chin. Blood. Hit him on the side by the temple. Blood. And hit him right here. Boom. Blood. Like, ha. <laughs> there. <laughs> That's the real shit he explained it. That nigga explained the squabble and it didn't do it in his favor. And nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Remember that nigga said, boom, 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 nigga hit the damn, knocked the wind or something out there, nigga. We gonna go ahead and keep it 50 fish tree that a homeboy from Bowie's out there. E Mac on hood. Hey, homeboy from Bowie's out there. E Mac. You still from Forty Crip Cub, but you a Custer. Uh -huh. <laughs> you still from Forty Crip, but you a Custer. Look at it. Kind of want to squabble Jap, at the same time, when Jap, I don't even think he said straight Cub. When, when we cut him right here, right here, right here. Something right here, Cub. Put me down. Put him down. And they say there's some windpipe. You don't get a windpipe. Since you're cutting on everything, when I'm on the ground, cut, you get fired on both of them. And Cub from Forty just standing there. It was uh, he said Cub from Forty just standing there. Troop, I'll hush this from uh, I'll hush from uh, Front Street. Uh, Damn, it was Back Street wide. Drew, I'm like, nigga, this nigga beat the brakes on me, nigga. You ain't, you ain't pulling them off, bitch. It's sober. When I got out, when the neighborhood crib chap told me, nigga, you ain't no real human killer. That's what I thought. I don't cut. We went another round. After we went another round, he told him, Jeff said, you ain't no human killer. And I'm like, and I told him, shit, wait, that's around. I probably said another dude. I said, crazy, you get hard as fuck. Oh, neighborhood crib, I said. And he showed me his golden glove boxing shit on his leg. Cut a fucking boxer. Oh, oh neighborhood crib. Oh, see. Hey, and I remember Jack Five always saying, nigga, we gonna get down. When he used to be on live, he's like, nigga, we gonna get down. All right, Roger Mark Lee. You know what I'm saying? They did what they were supposed to do. That's how it happened, you know what I'm saying? This was a long ass interview. We gonna go in about it, cause you know, this is the beginning with C-Mac. What's to come? You know what I'm saying? This is a real good interview, though. They knew, they knew Cub was gonna fuck me up. They just wanted they to They knew Cub was gonna fuck me up. I do know Cub, okay, but when you went Cub, Cub like five, six, like my size, all muscle, all right, right, right. right. It's short, but it's short. Look, I told you he said Jack five, six. So all that shit, but all that shit, what niggas talking about? I think C Mac like six too. Jack like five, six. All that shit having a height advantage? No, I told you a long time ago when I don't struggle with little niggas. No, they can get up in there and own you. Height, that don't mean shit. It's in a man's heart, it's in a man's mind, it's in a man's skill. You feel me? Straight up. Five, most five, six niggas ain't gonna fight no niggas six, two. They gonna be like, hell no. Nah. Jack was like, hell no. Nigga, <laughs> nigga said, boom, boom, boom. Blood. You know that shit hurt. You know it did. Oh, okay, but that was a crazy story Mama Bear told me, actually. It's real. I was saying, good crib. Mama Bear was, uh, was at her spot she was working at. Yeah, in Vegas. Come and, bust us. And Jeff Five and all the baby. I asked her about it after we squabbled. He said, yeah, I know moms. Oh, uh, look, yeah, it was him and his homegirl, he said. On neighborhood crib. We're going to leave off right there, man. We're going to jump back into this in a minute. Like I said, it's going to be a whole bunch of things, man. So y'all stay tuned, man. It's Diesel Talk, man. Y'all like and subscribe. Remember, man, we're breaking all this down. Because, you know, you might have motherfuckers around you. You know what I'm saying? You might be one of them. You know what I'm saying? You can't be too cool for school. You can't just be too tough all day. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the moral to this story. You got to be honest during a situation like this. If your, if, your, if your enemy or whoever get the best over on you, that's just how it happened. That's just how it happens. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get the shit in of the stick. And it's Diesel Talk, boy!